You might be wondering how it is we actually do our studies. So I'm going to show you an example of a typical study and how we set up a participant for that study. First, we apply small pads to every passive electrode on our EEG strip and fill them with a special kind of conductive cream. We then attach the EEG strip to the headband already applied to our participant. And here it's, it's very important that the uh, EEG strip sits straight and tight and of course also comfortable for the uh, participant so that it doesn't bother his or her head. When that's in place, we put another passive electrode behind each ear to serve as a reference point. And this is done to help getting the desired connection. And to get the desired connection, we of course have to make sure that every passive electrode is placed correctly. Each of the uh, nine passive electrodes that we have uh, have to have a stable connection and therefore we use this plastic syringe filled with our conductive cream, which is appropriately shaped for us to dig past the participant's hair so that we can get as close to the scalp as possible to ensure the connection. Whenever an electrode is in place, we connect the strip to the EEG itself and switch it on. Once the light turns steady green, we know that it has been successfully connected to our computer. The next thing to do is to ready our eye tracking device. We hold down the power button until the green light starts blinking to let us know that the device is booting up. And then we just wait for, for a little while for the green light to become steady, which means the device is ready to connect. Then it's time to equip our participant with the glasses. So we carefully place them on the nose and make sure that they feel comfortable and also natural. The strap in the back is tightened to make sure that the glasses don't move or fall off during testing. In the end process of setting up the EEG, we have to make sure that all the passive electrodes are attached properly so that we can get the correct results. This is done by running an impedance test on our computer, which shows us how well each electrode is connected. Now that the EEG is set up and ready, the last step is to set up our eye tracking device. In order to do so, we must first connect it wirelessly to our computer. And once that is connected, we're ready to start the software. And with the software up and running, all we need to do is to calibrate the device so that we can start recording knowing where exactly the participant is looking at any time. This is done by using a card with a small target and making the participant focusing on the dot in the center while we run the calibration. So that was an example of a typical study, but of course, depending on the nature of the study, there can be several variations. So in case you have any questions regarding any of that, please feel free to contact us. Thank you.